Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Welcome to our Skincare Monday. And today, instead of doing the skincare, I've received some requests to review some of my most favorite and not so favorite skincare products for 2020. So if you're interested in seeing what's my favorites and what's not, please stay tuned. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, I am back. And today, as I said earlier, I wanna share with you what my favorite and not so favorite 2020 products were. And as you know, I go through a lot of skincare. And this is, I'm gonna say, last time I recorded a video, it was uh, maybe November or October. And so since then, I've used some of the products you've seen before. So you'll see that, you know, those are my favorite products and they're great products. And so without further ado, let's get going. And in this box or in this basket, I have more than just uh, skincare. So I'll have to sort through it as I go along. Okay, the first item, and this is very appropriate because I've talked about it, but I've not um, shown it to you because it wasn't empty at the time. But I do go through several of these a year, and this is the value size, and that's the CeraVe Facial Cleanser. And this is more for, CeraVe has uh, different um, formulations for a different type of skin. This is for the dry skin and this has no soap in it. So when you put it on, it does not foam like soap, but this is more of a hydrating facial cleanser. It's, um, it has emollients and it has a nice soft texture to it. But because of hyaluronic acid in this, as well as a um, couple of other things, it can actually tingle a little bit. And um, the, the great thing about this is it does not leave my skin dry. And this one does, you know, I mean, it has great, great, uh, I mean, cleaning uh, ingredients. <laughs> I'm losing, losing words already. It's just on my first product. And it, it's also fragrance free because CeraVe's products are all fragrance free. And this one here is also certified by the Eczema Society, which is a you know, quite a big thing in skincare. So this is very good for people with um, kind of sensitive skin as well as, um, you know, very dry skin. But like I said, they do have the foaming cleanser for oily skin, which uh, my husband uses. And I use this one here because my skin is a lot drier. Okay, that's product number one. And product number two, this is the Rock. This is a cleansing pad. And these are actually not bad. And this is also fragrance free. And this is a resurfacing disc. And what this is, is a exfoliator. It's a daily exfoliator. And I did use some, but there are still some left. Um, very few left in, at the bottom. But um, I got this actually free with the Rock product. And so I said, let me try it. The thing is, daily resurfacing mechanically for me is too much. Um, I use chemical exfoliants, my AHA, BHA, but I can't, you know, and I stopped using those when I was using this one. But it leaves my skin very tender um, and I'm not crazy about it. It may work for somebody who has oily skin, who has younger skin, um, and who needs a little more exfoliation. I would recommend this because it's not a bad product. It's just not for my dry skin type and my mature skin type, right? So, and uh, like I said, it is fragrance free. And uh, like it, its claim is in just one week, the appearance of fine lines is reduced. Skin tone is textured, improved about four weeks. Signs of photo aging disappear um, and, or appears to be diminished, sorry. And after 12 weeks, the appearance of wrinkles and pores is diminished. You know, I didn't get that um, because it irritated my skin so much that it might have hidden those benefits. And I don't have sensitive skin, but I do use, um, you know, other type of acids that may make my skin a little more sensitive uh, if I use this on top. Now, if I were to use this alone, maybe it would be different, but I didn't do that. But like I said, I mean, it's, I mean, more than three quarters of it 
done and so but yeah and it's been sitting there for a while so it's time for me to you know circulate it and um, get rid of it it's only about five more discs left and the next one um i'm gonna stay with the theme of cleansers if i can but i may have to go back is the skin and co cleanser and i know you guys are all probably familiar with it if you get any kind of beauty boxes because at one point this was found in almost every box it's the whip uh cleansing cream and it's supposed to be with truffles it does have a faint smell um it's fragrance um i don't know what do you guys think of it i didn't like it i mean it didn't it, it didn't feel like it was cleaning my skin it didn't feel like um it was doing anything extra and yet it made my skin feel a little bit dry and how i tend to really judge these is i wash my face with the products that i'm intending to test which is this and it's it, again it's almost all gone just a little bit on the bottom and what i do is i cleanse and then i don't do anything else and i just kind of walk around the house and if i start feeling that tightness within the first like three minutes it's not good for me it's not good for my skin at least i mean if you have dry skin you have to really treat it with cleansers that don't have ingredients that dry out your skin uh, no soaps and things like that even though this is whipped cleansing cream um and made in italy love it but um it just didn't work for me and this has um some organic um ingredients and it looks like it's you know great but the problem is that it does have perfume or fragrance and so that may be the reason why it's drying out the skin don't know but i mean some of you probably love this product because I, I know it came in almost all of the boxes like i said at one time but for me it dried out my skin way too soon and uh yeah no, not for me sorry okay that's that you know i should put a basket down i'm just throwing it on the floor i'm gonna have so much stuff on the floor here but i didn't have another basket anyway before i continue how you guys doing i know random right Woo -hoo. but i started thinking you know earlier uh what am i gonna do on this monday and you know give something that adds value to my beautiful wildflowers and i said you know what somebody asked me for my top tw you know 20 products but i'm just gonna give you the top whatever i have and a bottom 20 whatever i have so but i may not be 20 don't count you know don't count <laughs> so anyway that was a commercial interference sorry so next uh let's see if i have any more cleansers it doesn't appear to have the cleansers nope nope but you know what i do want to go over this piece because way back when i'm gonna say this is september october time frame when i first received my i believe it was a fashion stuff box and it came with all of the international different um or was that it was one of the boxes though i can't remember now but i did promise um sarika because i didn't show this product up close and this is the product that was made in india or, or with the um the indian lava or moroccan lava made in india and here it is and this is the mud mask and it is a little bit fuller than i want it to be when i actually dispose of it and the problem with this the product is not bad um it's not again not for my skin uh it, it's very drying the the lava like pumice like um product that they use ingredient they use i mean i put it on my face and it's <sighs> i'm sucks all the moisture out and i you know i can't use mud masks that actually are made for oily skin and i think this one here would be perfect with somebody uh with oily skin not even normal skin because i think this is a little bit too drying for normal and dry skins uh, but like i said it would be perfect for somebody who you know who has oily skin and i mean it has good um it has good ingredients it has um, vitamin e it has um red uh, french red clay uh, jasmine extract and it has really good um ingredients but the thing i don't like is it does have a little bit of uh, fragrance and it, the fragrance is that it smells like incense i don't know if you've ever been to a like a store that sells these statues or these um uh middle eastern tobacco shops that sell like incense and you walk in there and it that it just it, that smell just hits you like a wall that's the smell that this 
actually has. But like I say, the texture of it, the feel of it is very nice. But like, uh, um, I can't, I can't do it because my skin is way too dry for that. So Sarika, I hope, you know, <laughs> I hope I made up for the fact that I didn't show it back then. So here it is. Okay. And so that's that. And next, um, uh, you know what? I'm going to try to put all of my ordinary stuffs together because you guys know I swear by ordinary. I love ordinary products. Been using it for a while now and I know it works. So I will go ahead and put those kind of together because I do have other things here. But in case, okay, uh, I'll just do this then. Okay, first thing I have is the buffet. Okay, buffet is called the buffet because it has different mixtures of different um, ingredients and different, uh, uh, I would say, formulations in there, right? And this is a multi-technology peptide, peptide serum. So it is a mixture of peptides. And uh, anytime you use something like this, please do um, a patch test. And um, I can link the video about patch testing um, below. So that way you can see that because it does have peptides and people don't all react the same to peptides, okay? And so it, this is, I mean, this is just so great. It says directions apply to the entire face in the AM and PM after cleansing. If irritation occurs, cease use and consult a physician. So in other words, it could be irritating for somebody who has very sensitive skin. And some people, um, believe it or not, can actually take things on their face, but they have problems when it comes to the neck area because neck tend to be a little more sensitive because it's not an area that's been used to being, you know, I mean, applied um, ingredients and things like that, or some people just are made that way. And so those of you who actually have sensitivity in a neck area, I would avoid this, um, this uh, product there in the neck. Just keep it on your face. And the next one is my niacinamide 20% and zinc 2%. Here it is. I know I've already showed it last time. I had the smaller bottle, which was the same as this bottle, this buffet size here. But because I was going through it so much and these things are so cheap, they're under $20 for double the size. I mean, look at it. I mean, more than double the size. I think it's 20 versus no, it is, it is double the size. Okay, 30 versus 60. And you notice the difference in bottle sizes here. Okay? And I really love, love, love their their formulation of niacinamide because it is 20% niacinamide and they throw zinc in there, which is 1%. And I mean, this is such a great product. And what it does is it uh, regulates the sebum and it minimizes pores. That's what niacinamide is known for. And so... I mean, I don't have that issue really, um, but um, pores I do have, you know, even though I don't have oily skin, believe it or not, dry skin, you can have pores, especially around my nose, okay? But not too, too much anywhere else, but around my nose here, right here. So I love this product for that. And then next, the buddy <laughs> of the niacinamide, because I use them together and they are buddies, are my hyaluronic acid. Here it is. Okay, there we go. And this actually helps retain your moisture barrier. And it is so necessary. And even if you're young and you're in your 20s, this is a good product to use at any time because it really does help with the your moisture barrier. And this is a 2% hyaluronic acid with B5. And they, uh, how they market this is it's a hydration support formula with the ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And you do know Ordinary is completely uh, cruelty free. And I love the company for that. And if you would just go and and people say, well, that must be expensive. Just go onto their site and make sure it's D-E-C-I-E-M. That's the company, right? Or you can go to Sephora or Ulta. Take a look at the price. And you're going to be like, what? And this stuff works? Yes, it works. It is the, I mean, they tout their company as affordable skincare. And I did a um, whole video on Paula's Choice and The Ordinary for that reason. So I can't say enough about it. I can do a whole another video on the Ordinary, because I love their products so much. Let me not throw that down on the floor, though, because I'm the glass. Okay, and speak of that, let's see. Um, you know what? I want to throw this in here because this is one of the products I think I spoke about recently, and this is something that came in our box, and this is one of the rare 
incidents <laughs> or, you know, rare times where I really love something, a skincare out of the box, uh, one of the boxes. And I can't remember which one this came out of, but it's by Volition. Okay. And it's really weird, right? It's a mushroom. Um, what do they call it? It's a snow mushroom water serum. And does it do anything? I think so. I mean, it actually made my skin feel really soft afterwards. And what I do is I wash my face, leave a little moisture on my skin. I would, I, and I would get a, like, whatever squeezes into here. It usually ends up being, like, about to here. And then I squeeze it into my hand. And I add a couple of drops of my Paula's Choice, um, uh, toner and I mix it together and I tap it into my skin and since I use my Paula's Choice toner already um, I know how it feels just that way and then what I'll do is I'll walk around because I want that to get absorbed a little bit and I noticed that this really made my skin feel a little bit softer and which was surprising to me because I'm thinking okay snow mushroom water what the heck is that and but I Said, let me give it a try and look it's completely empty and it's so rare for me to completely use a product that comes in a box and I mean I don't know if it's worth I think it's like $65 or $85 if it wasn't um in the box but would I spend that much probably not because it wasn't that much of a um difference but I did buy more and there's one in my um a skincare fridge right now because it was inexpensive it was an add-on so I said you know what why not I just go ahead and buy it so that's that okay so let me keep moving on um okay I am going to go ahead and show you these and these are oils skin oils and it's by a company called um, Audacite and they're really well known um, by their natural um, essential oils, um, essential uh, emollients from nature and organic because um, the, uh, the owner of the company, she started this company because she suffered some um, issues uh, with cancer. And so when she went into remission, she said, I'm going to just do everything naturally and develop um, these oils. And they're actually very nice oils. And they have different um, purposes for them. And I did use all of these up only because they're super expensive. They're like uh, $58 per bottle. And the thing is, they're tiny and you can go through them. I actually can go through one bottle like in a month, not a problem. And probably less than that. And you see how small these bottles are, right? And let me give you a look. And they have different purposes. And it tells you what it does. And it, they, she has a very good marketing employee, actually. Like this one is called Vital Glow. This helps to give you vital glow to your skin. Um, does it? Mm, it actually has carrot oil in it. It kind of gives you that. I think it leaves behind that orangey, but it's not orange. It just looks like glow, just enough to make it look glow. That's, yeah. And then this one is called deep wrinkle, right? And they have different, what these little codes are is it tells you what's in it. Like this one here is rosehip and ylang ylang. So RO stands for rosehip and Y stands for ylang ylang. And this one here for the vital glow is wild carrot, just wild carrot serum. <laughs> and there it is. Okay. So right here. And so this is how she markets it. And this one here is for um, fragile capillaries. And some people have red, and I have this problem where it's red here because I do rupture capillaries. And you see the lot, you usually see that in people that drink a lot of alcohol. And I don't, but I mean, it's just one of those things that happen to people. And, but mine's not as bad as you see sometimes, you know, like this, you know. No, it's a little bit faintly bad. So this is does does it help that's that's your question right i didn't see that it helped i mean it's 50 dollars for a little teeny tiny bottle and i used a whole teeny tiny bottle twice twice and to see you know there it is and it didn't help i still have my capillaries it didn't make it look smaller or anything like that it was nice the, and these are the oils that I use for when I used to do gua sha as I will put it on and then I will gua sha with these oils because it's so nice and it's very faintly 
scent a fragrance but it's not fragrance it's no artificial fragrance at all it's all natural stuff but it still has that smell from the essential oil like this one here the capillary is for apricot and palmarosa um, that's what it has in it and then the next one which is uh, the eye contour this is specifically for eye contour it has um let me see baobab and sarah spirella so it's a facial serum concentrate eye contour and this is supposed to help with the darkness and all of that and under your eyes and the contour minimizing the looks of wrinkles and all of that let me see if i can get you to see that uh can we focus okay so as you notice like i said they're 58 dollars each are they worth the price I'm going to say no. I hate to say it because I know she has good intentions. And I mean, and a lot of people rave about it, but I didn't see, I mean, it, it, I don't know. All I have to say is it didn't work for me. It didn't do the things that it said it was going to do under bottle. So, um, I'm just giving you the facts from my perspective and yeah, yeah. So if you guys love it and you guys like it, that's great. And actually, I think I sent one of them and the um and the giveaway because i said maybe this will work for somebody else and because i had already bought another set and i said you know what i didn't see any difference but maybe because my my skin is a lot more mature and it may work a little better for people that are not so mature and that has fresher skin so i did include it in one of the um giveaways and i'm just curious i mean if it's you out there who received it i mean let me know if you used it and let me know if it's worked for you because um yeah because there's people rave about it there's a whole like a you know a group about this stuff so it must be working for somebody but it doesn't work for me okay so that's it Wow, this is getting kind of long, so I'm sorry about that. I have a lot of stuff here. Okay, back to V. Here we go. V, And this is specifically a night cream. And as you notice, I scraped the heck out of it. It's completely empty. I love this night cream. I really do. And they tout this as a skin, a skin renewing night cream. And it's got the MVE delivery technology. Uh, this is such a great product. I mean, it leaves my skin so, so, when I wake up in the morning, my skin is so soft when I use this. And how I do this is that I put my Retin-A on last and then very last, I put this on because Retin-A will dry out your skin if you do not you know, seal it with something, some heavy moisturizer. And this moisturizer is just so good. And I, I actually love it. And I have another one ready to open, but I'm testing out another one that's like um, an $85 or $100 for a tube. And that's the um, uh, Grown Alchemist, the one that's made in Australia and a black tube, the night cream. I'm using that right now to test it out. So I'm about one quarter done with that. But once I'm done with that, I am definitely going back to CeraVe unless the Grown Alchemist cream starts turning around and doing a little better. Okay, a little sneak peek about that. And so, but love, love, love this. And so cheap, so inexpensive. Sarah V and The Ordinary, they are so inexpensive. I just hope that one day they don't decide that, wow, you know, we can really mark it up and still sell because they could, because it is very effective. I hope they don't do that. They haven't so far. So, you know, so far so good. Okay, so next, moving on. Okay, again, this is, uh, I think you've seen this before and because I go through this tube, I mean, these tubes, like, every other month. And this one is, oh, I had it upside down. Sorry about that. It's Paula's Choice and this is sunscreen. And this is a sunscreen that does not peel with, I mean, almost everything that I've tried, all of the um, uh, serums and all of the lotions, it's never peeled on me or my new, uh, let's see, uh, word, skin lint. <laughs> skin lint, you know, like when you rub and then it peels into white, it's never done that. And this is a youth extending daily hydrating fluid with the broad spectrum of SPF 50. And what I love about this is that it's also a hydrator, okay? And it's a water light fluid, minimizes the appearance of pores, and I think it does. And also helps to prevent UV damage and signs of aging. Well, 
Apparently, it does help with the UV because even when I'm out in the sun, come out, take off my makeup, I don't have any kind of, you know, new suntan or anything. I stay pale. <laughs> okay, so that's good. And this one, actually, even though I have dry, dry skin, this is for normal and oily combination skin. And this one, I can get away with that because I use other products with it and this is sunscreen. So this is actually really good, non-comedogenic for people who have problems with acne. And so this is a very good good product and I love it. I Like I said, I go through this thing every other month and you know, I have not, I've tried so many sunscreens and I should do a video on all of the sunscreens I've tried and I have like tons of it. I'm looking at it right now. It's a whole like top shelf of it. None has been good as this. So it is what it is. Okay. That one I can throw on the floor. Okay. Next. Okay, you know I don't use separate eye cream and I don't believe in separate eye cream because it is overpriced, but I do use separate neck and decollete cream because I've been using this for a while now and I know it works. And it's really hard to get this in this bottle anymore and I actually started trying it because it's quite expensive. You can get a 3.5 um, uh, milliliters, ounces, milliliters, ounces, at Costco for $99 right now, but if you go on to like the skin store or any other regular, you know, um, an internet reseller, you're gonna see it for $139. And this works. Why I know, I started having issues with like wrinkling on my neck and that bothers me so much because for me, that's where I show my age. And I mean, it's not on my hands, anywhere else. And it really bothered me, even though people can't see my neck, my husband can see my neck, you know? And it's like, you know, I, I wanna take care of myself. And so I said, I gotta do something. And so I came across this and said, you know what, I'll give it a try, probably won't work anyway. It's, you know, two for $69. That's kind of high, but um, it was at Costco. And I said, let me give it a try. And you know what? Lo and behold, wow, it actually worked. I mean, I noticed the creepiness of my neck actually started to decrease. I mean, it's not totally gone because it's, you know, you're always going to, with the age, have some kind of marks. You know, I mean, sagginess, but I mean, the creepiness is gone, which is nice. And also my chest and decollete area, I mean, it looks, it looks like a young person, so if you were to see my decollete area, you would never guess my age. You know, like a, some other women, you can see that it's been, you know, it's actually age shows in that area because the age spots and things. But I believe that this has really, really helped. And uh, let's see, uh, this has got the NIA 114 technology. And uh, let me see, it's a tightening neck cream plus with uh, gravity CF lifting complex. And the claim it does make is that it will help with the, um, the sagging skin and it does work. It does work. And you know, I'm going to tell you guys if it doesn't work and it's junk. Um, and, and the thing is, look again, this is some of the, this is one of the things I get in there, you know? And the thing I like about it is a lot of people don't like packaging like this, but it comes with this little cap. So that way you minimize the air entry. So I just keep this and like this and just close it as soon as I'm finished. And just a little bit like a e e amount of like a fingertip, right? I mean, the na nail and just put it on and just rub it in there. And I already have another, I mean, you have no idea how many of these I've gone through. I should have saved all of the, all of the bottles and just, uh, you know, the pots and just stacked them up because it works guys. It works. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to take a break. I had to blow my nose and, um, yeah. It's kind of cold. You know, it's red because I've been blowing my nose because it's, it's runny. Sorry about that. Gross, right? TMI. Sorry, but it is cold and I am human. So just sharing. So, okay, next, what do I have? Okay, I showed you this before already. And this is my empty, <laughs> empty container or tube of Retin-A. Uh, this is again, a prescription. And I do get them in a prescription from the physician and this is actually 0.05 and this is the uh, middle strength because you have the 0 0.025 and you have the 0.1 actually hold on one minute okay guys i'm back what i wanted to do is i wanted to show you the 0.1 let's see 
here it is here and it is a little bit bigger tube um, and I did go up because I've been using um, 0.05 for about a year now and then it's to a point where I'm having to put a little more so I'm wasting it and then it's costing me more money instead I'm going to uh, try 0.1 um, I still have one more going I probably have about a half a tube and so I'll use it up and then I'll jump into this piece here and so again written a I mean it helps to sorry about that I don't know at what point it cut off but I think it just cut off but anyway as I was saying uh, written a cream what it does is it helps under your dermis to help recreate the collagen or rebuild the collagen that you've lost over time. Um, it was initially created for people with um, acne and still is. And But there's been extensive studies done on aging and skin that's aging and it's showing, you know, all of the tests show that it is a positive, there is a function of um, anti-aging to it. So this is good, but like I said, this is something you need a prescription for and uh, you have to be really careful what you use it with. Um, and don't just throw it on there and think that you can use all your other acids and peptides with it right off the bat. I have to slowly, you know, uh, back off on some of my peptides and my acids, like my AHA and BHA. I totally backed off of it initially. And then I started with the Retin-A. I did every other day. And then I started adding additional days. It was like it, two and one off. And, you know, so it's a whole system that you should do. And um, if you do start written a you start slow and it takes about, I'm going to be honest with you, it takes about six months before you see any changes, any improvements. And so people get really, um, you know, impatient and say, well, it's not working for me. It's been six months. Yeah. This is about the point you're going to start seeing the difference. You're going to start seeing the age spots that's now disappearing and it's gone. And so be patient with written A. Don't put more than what you need to put on because only thing you're going to do is sit yourself back. You're going to irritate your skin and you're going to be disappointed. And you're just going to say, you know what, this doesn't work and just abandon it. Don't do that. Take your time. Like I said, it, I mean, I went from 0.05 to 0.1, one year. I let myself do the 0.05 for a year, okay? So please take your time with it and uh, really follow directions. And it, just add, if you're going to add products, add one product at a time. And if you see it irritating, back that off again and try it that way. It's trial and error. And in order for this to work, you should not be seeing flakiness. No, no, no. A lot of people think, well, it's not working unless you're flaking your skin. No, no, nowhere does it say that. Okay. So you just want to make sure that you apply. And if, if you're flaking, that means there's, it's something's off and you need to back off on something. Okay. Just a note. Okay, that's a that. Sorry about that because I have so much more to go. Okay, I got to talk about this before, you know, I run out of battery here. LMS, LMS, LMS. You remember this? Um, ugh. And I know people love this product and I used it all just so I can say I used it all and give it a fair shake. And what this is, is the cleansing balm. It's a pro-collagen cleansing balm. Every time I use this cleansing balm, I have to hold my breath because this is so heavily fragranced, heavily fragranced. And if it was a product that actually that you leave on, I would never use it. Not in a million years. I mean, you can, you know, I know people say this is a good product. It's great. I don't know. Is it really, or is it a hype that's created by the influencers? And then next thing you know, everybody's, you know, group think, right? Yeah, it works great. It works great. The influences, uh, influencer said so, so, and I think it works great too. Is that the case or does it really work? And are there, does Elemis have any products that are fragrance free? I don't know that, but because of this one product, I don't, I'm not interested at all. And I know there are people that say it's a great company, maybe, but I'm never going to know because you know what? I don't need it. And like I said, too much fragrance. Yeah too much fragrance okay moving on okay oh i'm gonna have to go over the lip products because you know me and lip products i love lip products and i have so many of them so let me put them together real quick um because i don't want to miss any so because i have one that i now newly discovered sorry about all the noise um that i mean it's it's wonderful it's wonderful okay you see these <laughs> hold on these are all lip products that I went through in a couple of months because I always keep something on my lips. Okay, this is my all-time favorite. And 
um, something that I really went I'm, I, it was my go-to for a long time. And I think it's because there was a lack of really good lip balm, right? And this is by Mailing and Goats. And this is the older um, tube that I had. And then now they have it like a little bit more colorful. Same thing. I went through two of them. And it's very nice. But the thing is, there is um, definitely the additional stickiness. And I like that, right? And so... The pro the ingredients in the back and it's actually very nice. I, I enjoy it, and but it doesn't feel like it's penetrating my uh, lips. It's more sitting on the surface and doing what it should, which is to protect the lips. But I don't feel it like really being absorbed and doing anything inside my lips. So for that, I mean, it's I'll give it a four out of five because it is nice and it's um really um. Uh, nice feeling, non-sticky, and it does protect your lips, but um, I can't give it a five because I don't, I mean, for me, for a lip balm to get a five, it has to really feel like it's doing something from the inside, and this just doesn't have that. But very nice feeling. If you get it in a box, use it. I mean, I still will, okay? Okay, and the next product is by Pure Lease, and I actually got this in one of my Pure Lease boxes. I believe it was... Um, the influencers box um so yeah it was pretty good so this one here is got mango and shea butter and it says this hydrates and nourishes heals and softens and it's petroleum free you know i have no problem with petroleum petroleum it, it's it gets a bad rap it really does it's a protectant it's you know petroleum it is a protectant for your skin it actually helps with the barrier skin barrier so you know i don't have a problem with it but this one here actually was very nice. I liked it. I liked the way um, it felt on the lips and it did feel like it was being absorbed. Um, not as deep as um, some of the other ones that um, I, you know, I've used. But this one actually felt like it was protecting and absorbing. So this one I like. And I like the fact that the, it does smell like mango. And it does kind of have a little bit of flavor like mango. But it's not strong. And it's not its own natural stuff. And it's fine. So, yep. Um, I would, I, I don't know. I think I'll still give it a four out of five, not because it doesn't feel absorbent like the, like the other one, but actually it doesn't feel like, um, it stays on. It kind of dries out really fast. And I think that's because it is petroleum free. And so, yeah, that's that. But let me give you, I mean, this is the gold standard nowadays. Okay. I ordered a bunch of stuff from this company and I got this little teeny tiny one from one of the beauty boxes and I found out that this is a small, like a family owned business and it's by Hanalei and it's some um, Hawaiian and look at this. It's so cute, right? Okay. But look, I completely squeezed the heck out of it, but I have another tube going. I bought a bigger one and I love this product and it's a lip treatment and this isn't clear. It actually comes in different. I think I, I got some travel sizes like this also and a little bit tinted blush. And so this one is actually, it's made in USA of course and it has a kukui nut oil. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's those, um, you ever seen those nut necklaces that um, uh, people wear uh, that that's in Hawaii? Kukui nut and it is so good. And this does have, it is a petroleum product, but it is so protective. And then the thing is, I don't have to keep putting it on because it doesn't dry out. And I can feel my lips just really becoming soft. And when I wipe it off to like wash my face or whatever, I can feel my lips are actually softer. I love this product. And you know what? Um, try it if you guys got it in your box. I mean, don't you know push it aside because I I love, love, love this product. Very nice. And this is what I have going right now, but I have other things going right now too, just, you know, just to try it. And uh, let's see. And the next one is, I actually rubbed all of the, I think this company is called, what is it called anyway? Because I rubbed all of the, um, uh, let's see. It is made in the USA, Three Graces Beauty. It's in the back and tiny, but it's, it was saying right here, right? Three Graces Beauty. It's a lip um, oil, a lip balm. And I rubbed it off because it was always in my pocket. And um, I carried it around with me. 
So this is smooth onto lip area day and night. Uh, it's paraben sulfate and phthalate free. Never tested on animals made in USA. And it's by Three Graces Beauty. I did like this product. Um, it did feel like the um, it was being absorbed. And I mean, it fragrance free. Actually, it had a funky smell like there's no fragrance. You know, I, I, do you get that? I mean, I don't know how to say that. There's no fragrance, but it smelled funky. Hmm. It's just... It smelled like really natural, like no fragrance. Does that make sense? So anyway, yeah, and then I liked it. And another thing I liked about this, I think it has a little bit of wax or paraffin in it because, um, but it's all natural, right? And so, because when I put it on initially, it, it had kind of like a bead um, feel to it, like it had texture, but as I rub it in, it just totally disappeared and it left my lips really soft and I really love this and the only reason why I'm using the other product instead of this one or ordering this product is because I want the um, extra protection of the petroleum and it, I actually for the Hanalei one I put it on at night I wake up in the morning and it's still there you know because I'm a back sleeper I don't sleep all over the place unless I'm having nightmares then it would be all over the pillow but anyway usually um it, it stays and in the morning it's still there and so I really love that and that's that's the reason otherwise if I'm walking around I mean I, I wouldn't throw this away I definitely use it so that's that and then the other one this is a Japanese brand it's um DHC I think I talked about it before and uh, here it is here and it comes in a tube like this and so this is nice it is a petroleum product as well um but it doesn't it doesn't stay on my lips you know so but i i swear by this um company because it's dhc lip cream and it does work and i will continue to use it and what i like to use this with is if i want to um let's say um put on uh lipstick then put something over it and sometimes lip gloss depending on which lip gloss it'll start to run right so I sometimes slap this on top so that way it gives me that extra moisture or if I'm wearing lip um lip <laughs> if I'm wearing matte lipstick then I may slap this on top depending on how drying that is so that's that and next I think this is um is this the last one no because I have one more that I really don't like um so this is by Wish and this is a lip balm. I received five of them. Well, I received, I purchased five of them from Costco for like, I think $9.99. They come in different flavors. Very runny, oily. And this is actually good lip. They call it a balm, don't they? Um, coconut lip balm with um, Bacucol. Smooths and improves appearance. Intensely moisturizes. A paraben free, sulfate free, phthalin free, DEA and TEA free, petroleum free. Uh, oh no, petrochemical free, not petroleum. See, petrochemical, petroleum, yeah, n not the same. Uh, it depending on how it's used and cruelty free. Um, what? Oh, the leaping bunny certified. Okay, this product actually is good. Uh, I like it, but. I feel it working on the more of a, this works more on the inside, I think. I put it on, it's kind of watery, oily kind of like, but it gets absorbed. So even though it doesn't give like um, protection from the wind and stuff, like more of a petroleum product, thick product that stays on the surface as well, this does get absorbed and I like it. This is something that I use and I will continue to use probably about an hour before bed. I'll put that on, it'll get absorbed and I'll put on my Hanalei um uh, the petroleum containing product on top because that will seal it in there. And yeah, so this is actually a good product. Yep. And I, I do still use it. This is coconut, right? Right now I think I'm using black cherry. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm using. Okay. That's that. Yeah. And then, oh my gosh, I got to speed this up. Okay. This is a by now Bay natural and organic detox, unpolluted crema. Huh? Oh, oh, okay, it's oxygen-like cream. Here it is, okay? Um, I did not use the whole thing. Um, I didn't feel like it did anything for my skin. It didn't feel like um, it added a lot of moisture, even though on the hands when I put it on, it feels like it's it would be moisturizing, but it didn't feel moisturizing. My skin still felt a little bit tight after um, applying this, uh, after I washed my, uh, my face, and so... 
Yeah, wow. Is that capturing? I'm trying to get it close for you guys, but yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to capture. Okay, so yeah, um, it, it didn't feel like it was doing anything special. So yeah, I mean, you get it in a box for free, but it's a detox. It's supposed to detoxify your skin. Does it really? I don't know. How do you, how do you show that, right? Yeah, so that's that. And the garbage. And the other one here that um, autocorrect, um, it's by Sunday Riley Brightening and Deep Puffing Eye Contour Cream. And um, it instantly does something according to this. I can't see it. Instantly alleviates a... Hmm? Oh, instantly delivers a lifted and depuffed look while reducing fine appearance of dark circles and fine lines. Instantly, it says. So I said, even though I don't use... Sunday Riley products. I said, this is small enough. I won't, you know, it's not like it'd be a big deal if I you know, tried it and then threw it away because, you know, I don't want to waste uh, because there's people who will use Sunday Riley products. Um, they will, you know, I, I give it away, but this is tiny enough. Let me try. It has a big claim. It did none of that. Um, it says, uh, let's see, instantly, instantly. That's the word I have a problem with. It says instantly delivers a lifted and, uh, let's see, depuffed look while reducing the um, appearance of dark circles under the eyes, right? I don't have dark circles under the eyes, so I, I don't know if it'll work for that, but as far as depuffing and minimizing the lines, did not do any of that. You couldn't even tell. I What I did was I would put it on one side of the eye and leave the other side um, naked other than my other moisturizers, my regular moisturizers, and I'll put on makeup, and then I will look throughout the day to see if, I mean, I look immediately, didn't see the difference. I would look in the middle of the day, didn't see the difference, and I did that for several days, enough where I used this whole thing. I mean, this is empty, okay? Did none of that. So, and I believe this is quite expensive if you get the full-size autocorrect Sunday Riley eye cream. So, yep. Nope. Garbage. So, that's that. Um, and you know what? I still have a tons of junk in here, but, oh. Okay. I'll do the important ones. Next, I got this for free. It's a peptide booster by Polish Choice. It came uh, with my orders of um, my sunscreen and my other stuff that I toner that I usually get from... Um, Polish choice. And so, um, this is a gimmick. I'm going to tell you a boost. This, these are expensive and you know, they try to get you to buy these, but and it's for all skin types and it's a boost with amino acid complex. Does it do anything extra? I didn't notice anything extra. And I use this whole thing. Um, yeah. Would I pay like whatever, uh, 40 something dollars, 50 something dollars for this? No. No, Paula's Choice. I mean, you guys are great. You have good products. Please don't do this. And especially Paula herself, when she owned a company, she's no longer the owner. She actually sold the company. She didn't come up with gimmicky things like this. She kept it very, you know, straightforward like the ordinary. And all of a sudden, they're coming up with eye creams. She hated eye creams. She always said, I don't like eye creams. And all of a sudden, they're selling eye creams. Yeah, I, I wish they would stay true to their brand because if it wasn't for the sunscreen, I think I would stop using um, Polish Choice and go directly to um, The Ordinary, who I think is staying pretty true to their brand. So, yeah, not happy about that. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. The uh, rest of it looks like it's for... Uh, yeah, it looks like cosmetics. So that's it. Oh, whoa, wait, one more, one more, one more. Okay, this is the WM Watermelon Superfood 2-in-1 Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Came in a box. Eh, I tried it. it. does not work for anything. I mean, this is pretty worthless. It's scented fluid with... I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do. It didn't take off my makeup. And how I test uh, makeup removers is pretty much I do the gel thing and which is this right and then what i'll do is i will take a round cotton round um and i will wipe over it with a petroleum based product and if something comes off means it didn't take off my makeup you know so it didn't i mean a little bit coming off is understandable because that's why you double cleanse right but this thing didn't do anything i'm like what the heck what did it do what the, i mean you were wasting my time so if 
you guys got this to work, let me know. Leave the information below because this came in one of the boxes. But I would, no, I'm not going to spend my money on this. And it wasn't cheap. Um, the full size one. So, junk. So, anyhow, I think that's it, guys. Oh, wait, one more. Sorry. Because I have to tell you about this one. And this is the Clean It Zero. It is the cleansing balm, yes? Cleansing balm and it's purifying. And this is kind of a competitor, I think, to, you know, uh, LMS and all that to cleansing balm. Actually, I like this. I like this balm. And I used it all up. And it didn't have the fragrance that you get from all of the other ones. And matter of fact, um, I bought some more um, from travel size like this because they had it on sale. It's like a stack of five and it was at Ulta. And so I bought some more of these for travel, you know, the cleansing, uh, because I like it. I mean, is this something that, you know, I hang my hat on and buy a full size and just, you know, be totally dedicated to it? Probably not because I have other things that, that works just as good. And this is a little bit higher on the um, price range than what I'm using now. So... Yeah, not bad, not bad. I just want to mention it to you guys because you guys might have gotten this in your box and um, I, I like it, okay? I think that's it. I shouldn't look anymore because I'm like, oh, what else is in there? Ah. Okay, that's it, Got Wait. What is that? I don't know. Uh, no? I'll talk about that later. No hurry. It's a cosmetic um, thing. So, this was supposed to be my top 20, but you heard what I like, what I don't like, I didn't count. Please don't count. Is it 20? No, I think it's more than 20 because it took forever. But anyway, my beautiful wildflowers, tell me what you thought. And tell me if you want to see specific, um, you know, products being used. Because look at this huge bottle here. I'm going to try this one, micellar water. Um, so, yeah. And I'll give you feedback on more of this as I go along. But this is the recap of my 2020 skincare products that obviously I used, either I loved, liked, or hated. So yeah, I'm. but I'll tell you, I am highly picky and I'm not gonna, you know, it takes time to do skincare. It really does. I'm not gonna waste my time if I know something doesn't work or something is like pricey. Am I gonna rebuy something that I think is junk? No. And you know what, some of these products, I get it. Like, I mean, I, I love the idea and I love the brand of these things. And, you know, I, I love the, um, the creator of this stuff, but yeah, I have to be honest with you guys, you know, I'm not going to rebuy it. The price point is way too high for the claims that it makes. Like I said, ordinary does it for the fraction of, you know, the price and yeah. And it only takes one product instead of four. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my beautiful wildflowers, if I added any value today, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm going to take you to nature and let you listen to my crickets. Okie dokie then, did you subscribe? Thank you so much. Well, my beautiful wildflowers, I hope you have a great week. And I hope that the world treats you right and the universe, the universe, the universe aligns for you. And so, without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. But before I do... Remember, don't sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Is it off? Dang, that was a long video. Now I got all this mess to clean up. Dang. Oh, whoops. Bye again. Bye.